Hi everyone, welcome to Fisher's Shop. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the French cleat methodology for hanging your tools. Uh, this is the route that I decided to go against some of the other popular methods uh, such as pegboard or just a simple tool wall. Uh, each system has its own pros and cons, but I decided this one was the best fit for me basically just because it's so versatile, uh, it's very easy to set up, and uh, I get a chance to be creative and make some really cool uh, different looking tool holders, uh, custom for each kind of tool that I have. So that's been a lot of fun making those. And uh, the system has worked out really great for me so far, uh, despite some of the common issues that people have with the French cleat system. Such as uh, the tool holders not being fixed to the wall. There's a, there's a thought that maybe the tool holder itself will come off of the cleat and come crashing down if, you, uh, if your tool gets stuck on it or you pull in just the wrong way. Well, yeah, I guess I suppose that could happen, but I think the advantage uh, to the tool holder not being attached is that I can lift the whole holder and take it, take it all with me if I need to. Say, for instance, I need a screwdriver, but I don't know what kind. I just take the whole thing with me. Easy as that. And uh, that's something that I have done in the past. I've done it with chisels, I've done it with box wrenches, I've done it with a number of different things. One of the other issues that people have with the French cleat system is that depending how the tool holder is made, it's possible that a neighboring tool holder could restrict easy access from one below. It's a valid concern, however, it comes with an easy solution as well. Just move it. Each one of these modules is completely mobile. Literally, I could take five minutes and redesign my entire shop wall. Now, if my tools were mounted on a pegboard or screwed into a tool wall, uh, that's going to be a major ordeal, taking everything down, unscrewing uh, everything from the wall, redesigning, relaying out everything, and then putting it back up. Not to mention, it's going to be leaving a whole bunch of screw holes and scars behind on the wall. This is the best way to go. You can't beat French cleat. I mean, <laughs> that's, a, that's awesome. You can't beat French cleat. That's going to be the name of the video. How about that? <laughs> Alright, so why am I rambling on and on about French cleat systems? Well, it's because I need to make some more. And mainly, I would like to get all of these uh, little storage drawers up onto the wall. Uh, the reason being now that whenever I'm working in a vise or I'm uh, doing anything that kind of shakes this bench at all, um, all of them rattle and everything on top of them usually comes pouring down like a waterfall. So these need to get up onto the wall so that it doesn't happen. I'd also like to make some French cleat shelves for some more uh, cans of finish that I have. Um, additionally, I bought all of these new hand planes. I, I say new, but they're actually old. Um, and I need to figure out how to orient them and get some French cleat holders for them as well up onto the wall. So that's what we're going to do today and uh, I think I best get to it. So I start off by planing and milling up some old cedar boards that I had hanging around in the garage and I set my width to three inches or so. That was the width of the hand plane. Cut down each shelf to uh, the appropriate size and set my saw blade to 45 degrees. Once I had that, I could cut down one, another one of the boards to use as the cleat on the back. Here I am cutting out a dado on each of the uprights that can accommodate each one of the shelves. Once I uh, get just the right fit, I cut them all out and glued the whole thing together. Not being too concerned about um, spreading the glue perfectly because it just doesn't matter um, in this case. And, I'm going to uh, secure it with brad nails anyways. So once I clamp it up and check for square, I just pop in a couple uh, 18 gauge nails and then it's good. Here I'm cutting uh, a couple pieces that we'll use for uh, the back to hook onto the cleat. Drilling some pilot holes and then countersinking the screws because you need everything to sit flush. Uh, put some glue on the back and screw that into the back of the shelves. Then at the bottom, just so that it uh, is supported against the wall, I put in some spacers and that's it. So 
So for my little storage cabinets, I had to make that out of much beefier wood because they're so heavy. Uh, so I ended up using like a two by six and for the sides and for the bottom. And then I ran the cleat the entire distance to hopefully distribute the load a little bit. And it turned out to be more than strong enough. So um, I was pleased about that. It was a snug fit because I uh, measured it just, a, just perfectly, but got them all in there and looks good. And for the last one, uh, it was just a simple two-shelf deal um, made out of scrap, MDF, and pine, and cedar. <laughs> so it's kind of a hodgepodge, but it's kind of the beauty uh, of shop tool holders. They can be anything, but it looks great. Awesome. All right, that's going to wrap up this one. So is the French cleat system the system for you? Eh, maybe, maybe not. I like it. It lets me be uh, creative, it's versatile, it's easy, but uh, hey, try it out for yourself and see if you like it. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like and comment the video and check out my other ones too. I think you're going to like those. Uh, so until then, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And plus it's going to scar up the wall eventually with all the different screw holes. Hey, will you relax? Hey everyone, welcome to Fisher's Shop. I, uh, I have a string coming off of my shirt. Take 20,592. Some people say that French cleat systems aren't the, the best because I have an itch on my face off of the cleat and everything comes crashing down. That would not be good. However, where did you come from to use? Oh my gosh, why are you attacking me? Why? This is not the time. Okay? This is not the time or the place. Well, it is the place, but this is not the time. Let's squeeze you.